I said, Chair, thank the organizers, particularly Patrick, uh, for inviting me to this symposium. So uh, today's my talk is focused on the symbiosis at the cellular level between cellulitic protists and bacteria in termite gut. And the hind gut of termite harbors a dense microbial population comprising both protists and prokaryotes, and they are responsible for uh, efficient degradation of cellulose. The termite gut flagellate proteins are unique for termite or related uh, wood feeding cryptococcus cockroaches, and they are uh, very famous for the symbiotic digestion of cellulose. They are very voluminous and uh, they are present at high, uh, at high density, and sometimes they occupy the 19, more than 19 percent of volume of the gut content. Uh, but they, uh, very, they are very difficult to cultivate in vitro, uh, in vitro or in laboratories. And when we look at the protein cells, uh, after staining of the DNA, uh, staining region DAPI, we can uh, form a high density of endosymbiotic bacteria within the uh, protein cells. Uh, sometimes uh, they amounted to up to one, uh, 10 fifth cells of endosymbiont per single cell uh, protein cells, single protein cells. And many of the gut, uh, gut bacteria are associated with protists as their endo or ectosymbiont. And the associations are spe species specific and associated bacteria represent the most abundant species in the gut. Therefore, the protists and their associated bacteria play a major role in the gut metabolism. Uh, however, uh, the termite gut bacteria is also uh, many of them are most uh, many of them are very difficult to cultivate. So we apply the culture independent approaches. So uh, some researchers may apply the metagenome sequencing for these uh, complex community, but uh, the metagenome sequence yield a fragmented sequence with ambiguous. Uh, ambiguous organismal assignments. So we prefer that if we can determine the complete genome of individual species, but uh, we uh, obliged to start with, from a small number of isolated cells. So in order to minimize the genome variation, a, sing oh, sorry. a single protein cell was first isolated and then uh, its end symbiont, several hundred cells of its symbiont are collected manually, and we amplify the uh, genome sequence uh, by multiple displacement method and apply uh, the material, amplified genome for the de genome sequencing. And we successfully, uh, okay, the first target is uh, uncultured and symbiotic bacteria in the candidate, candidate film termite group one. Uh, we designated this group of bacteria, termite group one, TG1. And at that time of the experiment, this is a, a candidate firm uh, with no cultured representative. Anyway, uh, the symbi endosymbiotic species uh, or this group of bacteria are specific endosymbiont of various protein species. So in this case, uh, uh, this cellulitic uh, protist, Trichonympha, uh, protist harbor the dense population of termite TG1 endosymbiont. And we successfully reconstruct the complete genome of TG1 and symbiont. And uh, the genome size is very small, uh, around 1.1 megabase, megabase pairs. And uh, we found 760 putative genes. But surprisingly, we found a, num a large number of pseudo genes in this uh, small genomes. So uh, we consider the genome is in the process of reactive evolution. Nevertheless, the ability to synthesize, to synthesize various amino acids and various cofactors retained in this genome, and uh, several genes involved in the biosynthesis are duplicated. So we consider uh, the upgrading and the provision of nit nitro essential nitrogenous compound is uh, uh, one of the major uh, role of the endosymbiont. And we apply the similar uh, method uh, for the second uh, example, uh, which is uh, uh, endosymbiont. Okay, 
the copto telemus termite, uh, which is uh, famous for the uh, uh, pest. And uh, uh, this termite harbors a cellulitic protist, pseudotoriconympha, and uh, endosymbiont belongs to the bacteroid arrest. Uh, in this case, the endosymbiont species account for more than 70% of gut bacteria. So the single endosymbiotic species are uh, very abundant in the termite gut community. And the endosymbiont and uh, uh, protists are co -speciated. And in this case, also, we successfully contrast the complete genome. And the genome size is also uh, very small, 1.1 megabases. And we found various uh, uh, genes for various uh, biosynthetic genes for various amino acids and cofactors in this genome. And in addition, we found the uh, nitrogen fi com a complete set of nitrogen fixation genes and uh, genes for recycling of ammonia and urea, utilization of these compounds. And uh, these compounds are pro uh, probably the nitrogen waste of host proteins. So, uh, in this case, also the upgrading and utilization uh, <coughs> provision of the uh, nitrogenous nutrient is uh, uh, a major role of the uh, endosymbiont. So this is a simplified view of the multiplex symbiotic relationships among cellulitic proteins, the associated bacteria, and the host termite. The host termite provides a stable habitat and cellulose, and uh, Cellulitic proteins degrade uh, cellulose and ferment them, and uh, uh, the uh, final fermentation product is acetate. Acetate is uh, utilized by termite as a uh, carbon and uh, energy sources. And uh, uh, cellulitic proteins provide the endosymbiont, the uh, cellular, sorry, uh, uh, cellulitic. Uh, intermediate sugars and uh, endosymbiont uh, uh, obtain the uh, ATP from the energy from the uh, sugar fermentation and uh, provides the nitrogenous uh, nutrient to the host. And uh, the ferment final fermentation product is predicted as uh, acetate, and uh, in this case also the uh, uh, termite has a, uh, gets a beneficial from the endosymbiont. Okay, the complete genome are successfully determined in each from a single protein cell <coughs> without cultivation. And the supply of essential nitrogenous nutrient for host proteins is probably a common role of the associating bacteria. And the genome are suggested to be still in a dynamic process of adaptation as endosymbionts of the gut protein with their reductive genome evolution. So we consider the endosymbionts are becoming specialized organella for supplying up and upgrading uh, nitrogenous nutrient. However, uh, the applied method needs uh, careful manipulation, and we cannot always be applicable. Uh, uh, okay, the method cannot always be applicable to other associated symbionts. And furthermore, the bacteria associations with gut protein cells are often complex, involving multiple symbiont species in a single protein cell, and in a different manners, uh, such as the ectosymbiont. So, uh, and in addition, the genome data are not completely reconciled to the physiological or biochemical data we obtain. And uh, uh, in next uh, few, a few pri uh, several pr uh, slides, we I would like to show some examples. Okay, that uh, the cellulitic protein uh, Toriconympha uh, harbors uh, another endosymbiont. Okay. In this case, uh, okay, uh, TG1 and the symbiont, we have determined the genome sequence, and uh, uh, the second symbiont is localized uh, apical part of the cells, and uh, we identified uh, the endosymbiont as uh, the cell vibrio species. And uh, this is a EM picture of this uh, section, uh, section of this part, and uh, uh, this part is a flat, uh, uh, a part of the uh, fragile, uh, fragilated part of the host protist and uh, hydrogen somes are located uh, in large amount in the cytoplasm. And uh, the endosymbiotic, uh, the cellular vibrio endosymbiont are located 
uh, between the flagellated areas. And uh, this Anderson bat species, uh, okay, uh, identified as Desalopo biblio, uh, which is uh, uh, known as a, a sulfate reducer, and uh, and the symbiont potentially has sulfate reducing ability, but sulfate concentration is very low in the gut uh, environment. And probably the sulfur biblio and the symbiont can do hydrogen dependent O2 respirations because uh, almost all the isolate from the gut of the termite have disabilities. Okay, and the, sim the same uh, protist cells, trichonympha cells, uh, also have an endonuclear uh, uh, symbiont. Uh, we identified uh, the uh, symbiont as uh, uh, one species of uh, our species in Beruco microbial uh, lineages. And uh, in this case, uh, fish image uh, ident uh, indicated that uh, at least two species of nuclear uh, Beruco microbial symbiont are uh, uh, Inhabit in the uh, in this protein cells. So uh, in this complex uh, community, uh, uh, probably the single cell uh, approaches is more uh, uh, advantageous uh, to obtain the uh, genome uh, sequence data, and we uh, apply the. Uh, uh, flow cytometry uh, method to isolate the single cells, and after amplification, uh, we check the uh, identity, uh, phylogenetic identity, and purity, and then uh, submit it to the uh, genome sequencing. And uh, I would like here, I would like to show one example of the analysis, single cell genome analysis. Uh, the target is the ectosymbiont, ectosymbiont uh, belonging to uh, the order Bacteroidales, uh, because <coughs> this ectosymbiont is uh, uh, sister to the uh, endosymbiotic Bacteroides. Uh, we, we designated it as a candidatus as a Bacteroides. Uh, uh, uh. And uh, we consider probably the endosymbiont originated from the ectosymbiont. So, Comparative genome analysis is uh, interesting. And uh, we determined the draft genome of uh, 3.5 megabases. And uh, in this case, the genome completeness we predicted 90% of the genome are complete, uh, obtained. And uh, this result indicates that the genome is not so uh, reduced dramatically. And we found uh, various genes uh, of the cellulase and uh, hemicellulase genes, so maybe ectosymbiont uh, play a role for the uh, degradation of the cellulose. And uh, uh, in this case also, uh, we found uh, various genes, genes for uh, various, um, biosynthetic genes for various amino acids and cofactors. So, uh, <clears throat> but in this case, uh, we didn't own the uh, nitrogen fixation genes. So, uh, provision of the uh, uh, or upgrading of the nitrogenous nutrient is a common rule here also, but uh, in this case, the nitrogen fixation is not a rule for the uh, symbiosis with the protein. Okay, and uh, this is, uh, okay, we, uh, okay, in detail, I, I would like to omit here in this uh, talk, my, my talk, and, but, I, uh, we examined uh, the meta metabolism of, of the host protist, and during the course of the analysis, we found a strong uptake hydrogenase activity in uh, the endosymbiont. In this case, the bacteroidales endosymbiont of the pseudotrichonympha cells. Uh, <coughs> and uh, we consider uh, the hydrogen produced by the host metabolism, uh, particularly in the uh, metabolism of the hydrogenosomes, are utilized by the endosymbiont, uh, by, uh, <coughs> by the detected hydrogenase activity, and uh, probably electron accepting reaction is a fumar rate reduction, and uh, the product is all, uh, probably utilized by the host uh, protist. 
And, and anyway, uh, we found the strong activity, but uh, in, the get, in the genome, we didn't find the uh, uh, typical uh, hydrogenase genes in this case. And uh, so uh, the uh, act, uh, biochemical uh, measurement and the genome sequence data are not reconciled. Uh, but we found uh, the homologous genes uh, with archaea, uh, which are probably involved in the hydrogen metabolism. And one is the uh, uh, self hydrogenase of archaea, and uh, heterodiasphyl, another is the heterodiasphyl reductase of methanogens. Uh, but uh, uh, sulfur, uh, sulfur is uh, not expected in the gut environment, and uh, uh, coenzyme M and coenzyme B is an uh, archaea specific cofactor. So, in this case, the endosymbiont is bacteria. So, uh, this, this is a, a candidate, but uh, uh, probably it's a candidate, but uh, more uh, biochemical uh, investment, investigation is uh, necessary uh, to conclude these are uh, involved in the hydrogen metabolisms. Anyway, the biochemical or physical, physiological data can detect. Uh, an overall gene function that cannot be predicted only the genome data. In another word, based on only the genome data, an important function in endosymbiotic relations may be overlooked. Okay, the last part of my talk, I would like to talk about the nitrogen fixing and reductive acetogenic endosymbiont uh, of cellulitic protist. Uh, in this case, the protist species is Eucomonympha, which belongs to the, which belongs to the uh, Philam Parabasari. Okay, in this case, uh, the endosymbiont is, uh, belongs to the uh, genus uh, Tolepanema. Okay, uh, this is a, a schematic view of the metabolic function of the gut microbial community, and uh, protist is uh, responsible for cellular degradation, and they produce uh, hydrogen, uh, carbon dioxide, and acetate, and acetate is utilized uh, by termite uh, as a uh, carbon and energy sources, uh, major carbon and energy sources. And uh, bacteria, uh, uh, one of the typical features of the bacteria in the gut is the uh, uh, activity uh, for the reductive acetogenesis, uh, which you, you utilize uh, uh, hydrogen and carbon dioxide in, and uh, transfer in them into the acetate. And uh, this reaction is beneficial because termite get more uh, energy uh, by acetate. And uh, nitrogen fixation is also uh, very important because uh, uh, their food is very poor in nitrogen sources. Okay, so we uh, focused on these two activities and uh, we uh, applied this method, uh, this strategy, uh, fractionation of the gut content. And uh, by using speed, low speed centrifugation, we uh, <laughs> uh, fractionated the uh, gut content into two. Uh, one is a large protist cell fraction, and the other is a small protist uh, and free bacteria fraction. And uh, for the measurement of the activity, we uh, prepare the, these fractions uh, anaerobically. And the uh, uh, large protist fr fraction uh, uh, mainly comprised of, uh, comprised of eucomonympha and trichonympha protist cells. And, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I, uh, I skipped the detail of the measurement method, but anyway, uh, significant activity for reductive acetogenesis uh, detected in the large protist fractions. And also we measure the uh, enzymes uh, involved in the reductive acetogenesis and similar patterns are obtained. And uh, we carefully manipulate the uh, both protist species and uh, uh, we found a significant activity was associ uh, associated with only Eucomonifa species, but not uh, Trichonifa species. So, and uh, uh, the activity associated with Eucomonifa accounted for near 60% of the uh, activity of the whole, in the whole gut. And uh, we detected the uh, 
genes, uh, okay, we identified the genes for uh, uh, the key enzymes for the reductive astrogenesis. And uh, these chickens are uh, closely related to the tre tre uh, treponema isolate from the termite gut as a, uh, reductive astrogens. And uh, we also uh, assay the nitrogen fixation activity. And uh, in this case also, uh, okay, we apply the, uh, okay, I'm sorry, uh, stable uh, isotope incorporation method uh, to measure the nitrogen fixation activity. And in this case, also, we uh, detected the significant activity in large protist fractions. Uh, but in this case, uh, almost, uh, no activity uh, detected in the small protist or bacterial <coughs> fractions. And uh, we did, uh, detected the nitrogen fixation gene, NIF H, and uh, by PCR uh, amplification, uh, we, uh, we detected only the uh, cells of the Eucoma NIF of uh, NIF H gene. And in situ, uh, by in situ hybridization with specific probes, uh, we detected the expression of the new phase genes in, only in Eucoman infra species. And this uh, new phase genes is, uh, uh, we confirmed as a, uh, one of the major expressed uh, new phase genes, namely, the, uh, uh, if we detected the uh, uh, new phase gene from mRNA of the gut con content uh, or gut bacteria, uh, the almost uh, only one sequence are detected, and that sequence are corresponding to the Eucomonifa and the symbiont sequence. Okay, uh, Eucomonifa cells have a dense population of lot shaped uh, and symbiotic bacteria, and uh, it's, uh, it, it is a very high density within the cells, and near uh, 2,000 protist uh, cells are existed in a single termite uh, species a single termite individuals uh, in the gut. So the endosymbiont shares a, uh, a predominant population in the gut. And we uh, identified the uh, uh, endosymbiont based on the 16S rRNA sequence and fish detection confirmed the uh, <coughs> uh, endosymbiont of the uh, Eucoma nympha. So the rot shaped bacteria uh, existed in or field in the uh, protist cells. Okay, the <coughs> endosymbiont belongs to the genus of Toreponema and uh, or uh, Spirohetes, Spirohetes genus Toreponema. And the Spirohetes are typified uh, their conspicuous spiral morphology necessary for their vigorous motility. Uh, but in this case, the, uh, the cell shape is rot, and uh, probably the endosymbiont has lost motility and spiral shape by the localization within the protist cells. And uh, phylogenetic uh, analysis indicates that, uh, okay, the, the endosymbiont are uh, located in the lineage unique for the termite, and uh, the lineage, sorry, <coughs> Lineage uh, comprised of both ectosymbiont and ectosymbiont. Ectosymbiont. Uh, the ectosymbiont spirohetes, we previously did uh, identify the ectosymbiont, uh, ectosymbiotic spirohetes, and in this case, uh, single uh, protist cells, uh, oxymodat protist cells, have the two lineages of uh, Toreponema ectosymbiont. And uh, endosymbiont are branched out. Uh, uh, ectosymbiotic <coughs> lineages. So probably the ectosymbiont has evolved among ectosymbiotic lineages. So now uh, we are trying to get the uh, genome sequence uh, by single cell uh, approaches of the Eucoma uh, nympha, Toreponema, and the symbiont. Also, the genome completeness is not expected. Anyway, uh, at that time, the presence of genes for reductive astrogenesis and nitrogen fixation in the single genome was confirmed in multiple single cells. And we also found the glycolytic pathway genes in the genomes, so uh, probably the uh, endosymbiont also uh, utilizes sugars uh, to, use, uh, to get the, uh, their energies. 
Okay, so I summarize uh, uh, this part of that, my talk and the U common infra cells uh, how about that uh, nitrogen fixing and uh, okay, uh, this uh, protein cells uh, how about the rot shaped tropanema and extra symbiont uh, that is responsible for reductive astrogenesis and nitrogen fixation in the gut microbial community. And these autotrophic and diazotrophic abilities are beneficial for host protists as a uh, hydrogen sink or electron sink uh, of cellulose fermentation of the uh, uh, protist cells and for acquisition of the uh, nit uh, nitrogen sources, respectively. The host termite can obtain more acetate and nitrogen sources, so the host termite also obtain the benefit from the end and the symbiont. Okay, and the uh, host cells provide hydrogen produced in the uh, metabolism of the hydrogen zones and uh, stable habitat uh, that uh, can prevent, uh, that, that uh, probably the uh, endosymbiont can uh, escape the hydrogen, um, oxygen uh, uh, that uh, otherwise inhabit both uh, acetogenic and nitrogen fixation. Activity. Okay, so there are uh, variations of end symbiotic relationship of, between the gut uh, cellulitic protist and uh, end symbiont. Uh, one case is involved in the uh, TG1 film of bacteria and tessel for vibrio. In this case, two uh, major end symbiont uh, uh, inhabit uh, single uh, protist cells and. Second case is a bacteroides, bacteroidales bacteria uh, is a major uh, uh, end by, end symbiont of the protist. And the third case is a tropanema. Okay, the host uh, protist lineage is, uh, belong, uh, belongs to Toriconinfea, and uh, uh, this lineage uh, of uh, protist uh, is uh, very important for the termite gut uh, for degradation of the, uh, of the uh, of cellulose. Okay, and in the other lineages, uh, as presented by Tan, uh, the uh, ectobiont uh, bacteroidal bacteria is uh, uh, one of the major uh, associated bacteria. And uh, in the case of the Toriconifa, uh, depending on the lineage, uh, uh, TG1 uh, and symbiont and the cellulopavibrio symbiont are replaced to uh, actinobacteria or uh, delta, another species of delta proteobacteria as presented by uh, uh, Stras, Dr. Stras in the poster. Okay, this is my uh, okay, uh, conclusion. There are variations of endosymbiotic relationships depend on protein species, but there should be some convergence. The supply of nitrogenous nutrient, nutrients and utilization of molecular hydrogen are likely common function of endosymbiont. Upgrading of nutrients probably in all cases and acquisition of nitrogen sources is in, uh, at least in two cases. Uh, in, in and in Torconinfa, uh, the sulfobiblio utilize hydrogen, but uh, TG1 and, and the symbiont rather produce uh, molecular hydrogen. So the function is divided into uh, two uh, groups of ectobiont and beyond. And the termite gut microbial community provides various examples for comparative studies of and, or, and uh, ectosymbiotic relationships. And uh, I consider host protist metabolism is also important to understand the relationships. Probably they, uh, okay, they belongs to the similar, uh, okay, th the same lineage, but probably they, uh, their metabolism is uh, slightly different, and this, uh, these differences uh, affected the uh, endosymbiotic relationships. Okay, I acknowledge my colleagues. Okay, thank you for your attention.